One of the really important things in computer science is that there are still a lot of problems that no one has solved yet. So like in school, you know, when you're adding 2 plus 3, right. People have done that before, right? So how thrilling is that? Do you feel like you're an explorer and you're an innovator and you've discovered something new? No. no. But the truth is that when you're exploring and you're innovating, things get really, really hard sometimes. Because sometimes you come to a place where there are problems and there is nobody that knows how to solve them. And you have to try and figure it out all by yourself. So what happens if you get to a problem that no one has solved yet and you just go, oh, darn it, no one solved this. Guess I'm done. Will you ever really invent anything? No. No? Will you ever really create something brand new? No. no. You'll explore things. And sometimes you'll explore things and you don't know what they do. And to keep yourself safe, you have to know what steps you need to take to explore something, right? Yeah. So that's what this lesson is going to be all about. It's going to be all about creating something new and knowing that there are going to be times when there, you don't know something. And I know you don't know it. And I know it's going to be hard. But you guys are going to have to keep working and try and figure it out. So what, what are the things that you worry about if we are doing something and you don't know how to do it? What are some of the things you worry about? Um, if I'm doing a timed multiplication test, I'm worried that I won't finish it in time. So if you don't know something very well, you might worry that you won't finish it in time? or that you won't be fast enough. So how do you think you would feel if you're working on a project and you're working on a project and it didn't work? So you try again and you try again and it still doesn't work. And then you try again and you try some more and it still doesn't work. How are you going to feel? A little bit bad. A little bit bad? Worried. Worried? Um, distressed. Distressed. You might feel in distress. Frustrated. Frustrated. That's a really good word. These are all really good words to describe the feelings that we have when we're trying something new. But you know what's really important is if we understand that we're going to have those feelings and we understand that everybody is going to feel something kind of like that, then it gives us permission to say, well, I know I feel like this, but I'm going to keep working anyway. And so if you've been not getting it and not getting it and you're frustrated and you're stressed and you're in distress and then you get it and it works and then you feel amazing and wonderful and happy panda. and you know, yin and panda. And you need those feelings of, of, oh no, I'm afraid before you break through to those feelings of, yay, this was amazing. And so now, every time you feel, oh, this is scary, oh, I feel bad about myself, oh, I feel in distress, I want you to tell yourself in your head, that means that when I persevere and I figure it out, I'm going to feel excited, happy, right? Uh, really that's good. really, really good. So that's what this lesson is all about. I'm going to give you a challenge, and it's going to be hard. I'm not going to lie to you. As hard as fandom? It's supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be challenging. And it, it, you'll, you can work, you'll work in a team, but you'll all be building your own structures. Okay? And you're supposed to feel a little bit of frustration because it won't work right away. And that's okay. I want you to keep working until you get it. And you guys are going to go... Miss Kiki, Miss Kiki, can I have some help? And I'm going to say, nope. And you're going to say, Miss Kiki, Miss Kiki, I don't know how to do this. And I'm going to say, I know. And you're going to think Miss Kiki is really mean sometimes. But then when you guys get your thing to work and you did it all by yourself, 
you won't think Miss Kiki is mean anymore. <laughs> then you'll understand what I was trying to do. Okay? Okay, you each get your own supplies. All right, don't eat them. You need to make a structure that is at least as tall as the cup. And it has to be strong enough to hold this book. I am not kidding. And you can only use the tools that are inside the cup. So you don't get any more if you break them or eat them then you're making it even harder for yourself. Teachers have said that if you get spice drops instead of the fruit flavored gum drops, the kids are much less likely to eat the supplies. This lesson is difficult for the students, but it's supposed to be difficult for the students. Once you tell them that you're not gonna interfere with their lesson, don't interfere with their lesson. It's really important. This activity really will change the thinking of your classroom. And you'll find that when you refer back to it, kids are more likely to persevere just a little bit longer in almost anything.